Assalamu alaikum students how are you all i hope you people are fine and doing well this is your sst sst teacher from f6 fort road middle wing boys today in our today's assignment of week 7 we are going to start our unit number 3 and its name is our past and our present objective of uh, today's lesson is to get you people familiar with different terms and vocabulary and know the facts about different ages first of all you will open your textbook page number 30 you will start reading from page 30 to 33 here on these pages you will learn different facts about different ages you will come to know that the archaeologists tell us that human first appeared on earth in east africa so here are two things prehistoric age and archaeologist what is prehistoric age prehistoric age means the age or time when no events were recorded or written down means we don't have any written record of that time only we know about that time through archaeologist archaeologists are people who study ancient buildings and other physical remains to discover history of human from the prehistoric age here on this page you can see different letters in bold it is very important to know that what do these letters stand for number first of all there is ah ah represents the number of years after the hijra of prophet muhammad peace be upon him from makkah to medina and is used in islamic lunar calendar you might have studied about uh, holy prophet's migration from makkah to medina then comes bc bc stands for before christ and these letters are used to represent the number of years before the birth of jesus christ as i have told you that archaeologists have divided human uh, history into different ages so first of all comes stone age about world now what is stone age and what did people do in stone age in stone age people used to make their tools with stones or woods and they uh, used those uh, tools for hunting they fulfill their uh, uh, requirements of food through hunting and they were used to hunt bigger animals that time and that time you know uh, earth was mostly covered with snow and that, uh, that age is also called ice age stone age is also called ice age and people that time people used to live in the caves caves were used as their shelters which protected them from harsh weathers they didn't have houses like we people have now nowadays they were used to live in the caves and they uh, hunted they used to hunt animals for uh, to fulfill their uh, requirement of food here i have some pictures of uh, stones used by those people to make their tools and later when they started making their shelters they started making their shelters with the help of leaves mud and stones nowadays we uh, we people use different things for performing our different activities like we use pen to write like we use uh, knife to cut different uh, vegetables or fruit or or so many things and we have scissors to cut the papers but people uh in stone age they didn't have such type of things with them so what did they do they were not performing their activities yes they they were they were performing their activities but they were using different tools which were made up of stones and their tools were not that sharp as we have nowadays then comes metal age as i have told you that earlier uh human beings in stone age human beings were used to hunt animals for food but you know hunting was so tiring so risky and laborious that time so slowly um what happened human beings they discovered wild wheat seeds which could could be eaten as a food they noticed that these these wheat seeds when they fall on the ground after some times they gave rise to new plants 
the men realized then men realized that if they gather and plant these seeds they can get enough seeds to eat so these seeds can be used as a food instead of hunting animals all the time so it was a major discovery and people started farming instead of hunting so from hunting uh, men started farming and while digging uh, digging ground for farming purposes a uh, human being came across with different substance which were very different and it was what was that it was copper it was very important discovery so people started making their tools and ornaments using that new thing new metal copper is now in this age metal age when people started farming and while digging they discovered such type of metals now they used uh, they started using that metal for making their tools and for making their uh, ornaments jewelry and so many things pots as you can see on this uh, in this picture as well here i have some pictures of tools uh, which were used in stone age and then in uh, metal age you can see the difference these are the pictures of stones used in stone age and then when human being discovered metal they started making tools with copper and different metals and these people also uh, started making their shelters as a house as their houses instead of caves they people started living in shelters which were made of leaves and uh, leaves and muds and stones so after reading and learning about different ages now what you are supposed to do you will write the meanings of any five difficult words from page 30 to 31 and you will also learn their spellings this work is to be done on loose sheets you, on loose sheets you will write the meanings of any five difficult words from page 30 to 31 then you will look at the pictures and their captions and information boxes to get familiarized with terms and vocabulary given on page 30 to 33 there is another task you will search internet with uh, the help of your parents to get more information about our past and write any 10 facts about progress made in different ages and you will do this work on loose sheet so this is all about our today's lesson i hope you people will find uh, this topic very interesting and informative thank you very much take care